On this channel, we are not stupid, right? And what that means is that we understand that Arcade's AI is the best AI UGC content creation platform in the game right now, at least as the time of making this video, which is the 16th of June, 2025. Now I've run Arcade's AI UGC content in ad campaigns in the past. I'm doing it right now, as you can see right here. I've literally got 10 different variations. Let me just hover over some. Urgent notice for solar business owners. Urgent notice. Urgent notice for solar business for solar business. Just give you a little Urgent bit of notice. an idea if you haven't heard of Arc Ads before. Now, the one thing I want to clarify in the video is that this is not going to be a full beginner tutorial because obviously the reason why is that a couple weeks ago I made a whole entire video dedicated to explaining the whole Arc Ads AI platform to you guys. So simply what this video is going to be is kind of like a little bit of a kickback update video because they've released some cool features since the last time that I went through and explained everything. So I'm going to be touching on those features, although I myself haven't had a chance to actually go through and create a bunch of UGC content using those features but I will show you guys a few examples because there's a few Twitter threads here that are going to basically go through and explain what those features do how to use them as well as provide a bunch of different examples I've just seen this dog up here as well I thought I was kind of experimenting here if you guys don't know as well the, oh, shut up dog the best part about the AI UGC stuff or the main way that you should be using it right now is not by trying to create, you know, one clip that's of such a high quality that it's better than humans because let's be completely honest, I mean, it's kind of obvious, uh, creating an AI UGC content clip is never going to be on the same level of quality as a real life human at least not right now okay it might be in the future it probably will be in the future actually but right now the name of the game with ai UG ugc content is simply to create as many different variations as you can and then just mass test them mass abc whatever test them until you see okay this one's performing well this is performing well these aren't let me cut them off let me double down on these that's how you work the ai ugc game right now um at least up until they make it good enough to really <laughs> replace humans i guess which is crazy a crazy sentence to say so now what we're going to do guys is we're going to get into what these features actually are before i do that though join the free community guys we're up to 620 members we've got a learn tab here that has basically everything that you need to know when it comes to starting your journey related to ai and if you don't guide with all these pdfs and stuff you can literally just ask me directly if you have any questions so let's get into it now I bookmarked a few tweets right here. If you guys don't know, Raymond, uh, Roman Torres is basically, let me go on his Twitter profile here. He's basically the founder or CEO, whatever. He's building Arcad's AI is the point that I'm trying to get across here. And a couple of days ago, he tweeted this out saying he's excited to introduce prompt to AI actors. Now, if you've been living under a rock, um, ChatGPT, the image generation model for ChatGPT has become really good, good enough where you can even, uh, you know, generate an image that's real, realistic enough that you can take that image and put it into platforms like Arcade's AI in order to create AI actors. But uh, what Roman here is saying is that instead of outsourcing the image creation, now you can do it within the Arcade's AI platform. So as you can see right here, he says, all you have to do is type a prompt, create a unique talking actor, edit them with perfect consistency, and the results are bluffing. I've, I've never heard that before, but I'm sure it means the results are good, hopefully. So this is an example, I think, right here. Let's hear it. I am excited to introduce Prompt to AI Actors. I can be at the beach, but I can also be in the snow. I can even be- I, mean, like I can be at the beach, but I can also be in the snow. I can even be holding a cup of coffee. So go create your own AI actor today on arcads.ai. Right, it's insane, right? Like the the I think one of the best parts about this is that you can take one single AI actor and apply them across however many settings that you want. So let's say that the ad that you're trying to create is uh it for some reason it takes into account a bunch of different weather biomes so it could be they're on top of a snowy mountain and then the next scene they're in a desert that's a sahara desert or something the next scene they're in a tropical rainforest and the next scene they're in just i don't know grasslands or something like that that's one of the the best benefits here is that you can take the exact same ai actor and apply them extrapolate them across many different scenarios okay so he walks through how to actually do this here he says first thing you want to do is type in your prompt create an ai actor in seconds and then okay so let me go back to arcas and actually show you guys where this actually is because i truth be told i haven't actually used this yet it's such a new feature june 12th it's four days old so i literally haven't had any time to actually experiment with this i just wanted to show you guys that it exists so what you would do here is you'd come back to arcade's ai you would go down to where it says add actors click on that 
wait for it to load and then there'll be a section here where it says my actors with a plus all you want to do is click on that plus and there'll be two options here and it's very very simple and intuitive okay so the first option is if you want to generate an actor within arcads ai so it says you generate from a prompt and reference images now the cool thing about this is that when you click this okay you can either go with strictly text as you can see it's got an example right here where it says young adult fitness coach and a wristband watch so it'll take those different characteristics into account in order to create your ai actor but you you also have the option here in order to include a reference image so if you click this right here it's just my logo and a bunch of stuff but if you click that right there you can basically if, if there's i don't know you want your ai actor to look like uh I don't know, some guy, you want you want him to look like Hellboy or something, I don't know why that came to my mind. But yeah, you can upload Hellboy as a reference image there and then, you know, continue to refine the prompt with uh, with text. You can also adjust the aspect ratio right here. You've got 9 by 16, 1 by 1 and 16 by 9. Um, and then you simply just click generate. So it's that simple. Now, the other option, which I was alluding to before, is that you can upload an image. So let's say that you actually did go into ChatGPT and you generated your own, I don't know, let's say you created a dog because i'm pretty sure this actually works with animals as well by the way but you created an animated dog that you want to start talking then you simply upload it to this box right here and it's the exact same exact same type of concept you upload it to upload the image file right there where it says starting frame and then you say what you want the character to actually start doing so it's very very simple that's what he's talking about in this first uh tweet right here then he says, after you actually create the actor, you can edit the actor. You can change the clothes, you can change the hair, you can change the setup, you can change the lighting, you can do whatever you want. He's got a video right here. I hate how every time I have to up, uh, you know, update the quality right there. But you can see right here, he's got a woman talking to a camera to begin with. Then he updates it by saying she is holding a cup of coffee. There we go. Looks perfect. Then he, he updates it by saying she's in a tractor. Looks perfect. And if you guys didn't notice as well, because it cut off there, it returns cut off again in the end it retained the fact that she's holding a cup of coffee and took that into the scene where she's in the tractor so it can actually stack multiple prompts into one but even if you can see right here in the end she doesn't have a coffee you can simply just prompt the coffee in at the end there if it does glitch out like that so then he says your ai actor will be ready and you can use them with any script cool so that's the first thing i wanted to show you guys it basically breaks it down now i do want to show you guys this second uh thread right here which is uh liner's I can understand. I'm, I'm definitely saying that wrong. But he basically says, why hire influencers when you can invent them? And I thought that was a sick line. I'm not going to lie. So he says, Arcad's AI actors have pulled in billions of views across Meta and TikTok. And by the way, this is true. The chances are you've probably consumed content that has been created using Arcad's and you probably haven't actually known it. Okay. So he's saying that he's been trying the latest version prompt to AI actor, which is what we're talking about. And he's hooked. Let's see what you can create today. So he's got a preview Hello? video. Is it me you're looking for? Just kidding, this is me. I'm me, and I was created with a prompt. Linus, who I work with a lot, just made me using arcads.ai. Yeah, you can insane. Learn how by checking out the thread. Hello. Okay, Matt. Um, so then he says, we start with the basic prompt, whatever you imagine. So this is kind of what we already uh, talked about. You just say, I want uh, a woman holding a wine or something like that, a glass of wine. Then you say, put them in any scene, any outfit, holding your product, selling your message, living your brand. And that's one of the coolest things as well, guys. You, you have to remember, because you can include a reference image, you could include a reference image. Let's say that, um, let's say you're talking about Prime, the, the, is it an energy drink? The KSI Prime bottle, right? You upload the image of that and you say, make my character hold this and and say this right so you can literally use it to advertise physical products which is just insane basically the same way you should be holding that coffee right there um, then we scroll down it says we have control can direct and most importantly iterate quickly which is what i was mentioning before guys you want to be making tons of different variations based on what's working and what's not working Arcades has been moving extremely fast and seeing how they improve almost every week is incredible. While not VO3, it's less of a black box and you have more control. So let's see this example. AI generated, but I look real, right? I'm AI. Okay. Um, cool. And then this part is basically him just talking about experiments that he's, that he's uh, done using the prompt to AI model. It's not too important. Let's click on I'm an example AI right here. I'm AI generated, but I look real, right? Create me or anyone you imagine on our cast. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. That actually, that's uncanny valley type of stuff. Um, the other thing that I did want to show you guys, because that basically wraps up that thread, Roman Torres, who's the founder, like I mentioned before, the reason why I think that Arcad's AI is going to continue to be the best AI UGC platform out there is because look at this guy in the replies of his own thread, right? 
Someone replies, happy to happy you like it. Someone replies, excited to see your thoughts. Someone replies, thanks man. Get it. He's literally responding to each individual and taking feedback. I'm sure that even if I DM'd him right now asking, hey man, uh, do you think you'd be able to come out with this feature? Uh, I think it'd be great. I've heard, heard feedback that people want it. I'm almost certain that he would respond in DMs uh, to exactly what I'm saying, which is why I'm so optimistic about the future of Arcas. He's literally responded to every every different reply right here. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.